Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, and it reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, trust, put your faith in the Lord. And don't lean into your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your mind, Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because that's who these lessons are for. Trust in the Lord, the God of the Bible. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Who they ignorantly call God and Jesus and lean not into your own understanding. We can't lean into our own understanding. This is what happens when we try to take matters in our own hands. This is what happens when we trust in somebody else instead of trusting in the Lord. This is what happens when you think you know it all. This is what happens when you're not praying. This is what happens when you're not seeking counsel. This is what happens. Father trying to figure out what the hell happened. What caused his daughter to look like this after drinking the damn Kool-Aid? The red color. This is what happens, man. And it's a strict warning to you Israelites out there, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that think you know it all. We don't got it. We need the Lord for every answer. We need the Lord for all answers. But when you think you got the answer already, this is a, this is a tragedy right here, man. And I only can speak lightly on it. But but just look, man. This is a daughter of Zion. This is an Israelite. This is our people. And but this is what happens when you trust in your enemy. I want to read this again. Just a quick little lesson. I ain't gonna be able to stay on it too long. You know how sleazy he is. This is this is what's happening to people out there. This is what people are actually turning to and, and looking like. A whole lot of people are ashamed to show their pictures looking like this, but a whole lot of people look like this, man. And the first thing this devil gonna say, did I do that? It won't because of me. It was because of you. It was already something wrong with you. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. That's what the devil does. That's what a deceiver does. The word devil means deceiver or slanderer. He's always going to make it seem like you're the problem. You, you made that happen to yourself, not him. It can't, it can be anything but him. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord. And I'm going to show some other pictures. Lord willing, this video don't get taken out. You know how sleazy it is. When it start getting revealed, anytime the devil start getting revealed, he takes your video down. Strike. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. You're out of there. You're out of there. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, with all thine heart, all your mind. <clears throat> And lean not into thy own understanding. Drunk that damn Capri Sun. Now look. Drunk that damn Capri Sun. And now look, man. But oh yeah, the men on the highways and byways, the men on the street corners preaching the Bible, they're the worst thing known to mankind. We need, we need them, my, my watch chimed in. We need to get rid of those men that's teaching the truth out there on the highways and byways using the Bible. That's that's who we need to get rid of, right? No, no, don't get rid of the wicked of the earth that's turning, that's turning people into this right here. No, don't get rid of them. Don't get rid of the people that's actually destroying the earth, that's poisoning the water, that's destroying the air, that's destroying the lives of people. Coming over unrighteous decrees. And you Israelites out there, y'all simple as hell.
This devil said you can't get on a plane, you can't go to another country, you can't go into a restaurant, you can't go into the gym unless you drink this cup of Kool-Aid. He said, okay. Stu do doofus as hell, man. Oh, doofy, doofy and goofy. You can't you can't go to Mickey D's, you know saying you can't go to damn Wendy's unless you drink this damn Kool-Aid. Okay. Sound like damn Lil John. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Do you see anybody rejoicing on the earth right about now? And all you Israelites that stole out to this devil, all you Israelites, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a whole lot of you puffy, you puffy ditties. You know what I'm saying? You damn P ditties. All you Israelites that made a covenant with this devil, watch what happened to you. Each and every last one of you, you won't escape. You might you might be big, you no know say with money right about now. You might be jetting from one country to another country right about now. Get, get your shine on. Get your shine on, but eventually you will be brought low and exposed, just like the ditties, you no know saying, just like the ditties and every damn body else who made a covenant with this devil. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. You think this family right here ain't mourning now? They trusted in the wicked. And, and the scriptures tell you the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Cruel, Israel. So it, it says when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. But y'all look at that's all crazy. Ain't nobody condemning this wicked devil. No, saying, but oh yeah, the Hebrew is like they're the worst thing known to mankind. We need to get them off the streets. We need to get rid of. No, you need to get rid of this devil. But the Lord is gonna do it though. The Lord's gonna come back. Don't even worry about it. Let's get, let's get this. Let's get uh let's get let's get some rock right quick. It's gonna get some rock. Ain't gonna ain't gonna be nothing long. Lord willing, this video stay up, and I can't say too much. Y'all already know how it go. If you if you say too much, you already know the devil gonna take down your video. So I can't say much. Bear with me. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 10, reads, never trust thine enemy. What part of never don't we understand? For like as iron rusteth, so it says, we, I, I want to get the definition for never. Let's just get it. We're here. We, we, we're here. Let's see what never means, right? Never is an adverb that means at no time, not at all. Not to any extent or any way. Never, ever, 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 ever. Under no, any, not under any conditions. You want to get on this plane? Nah, I'm good. You want to go to this restaurant? Nah, I'm good. You want to go to this concert? Nah, I'm good. Want to go to this basketball game? Nah, I'm good. You want to get into this college? Nah, I'm good. You want to go to this country? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Want to get into this building? Nah, I'm good. You want this job? No, I'm good. That's what the word never means. Not ever. Not no time. Never means never. Never means never. What part of never don't you Israelites understand? Never means never, right? Not ever. Not no time. Not in any degree. Not under any conditions. So forth and so on. Never means never, damn it. Never, ever, 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 ever. Trust this man. Never. Sirach 12, 10, never trust thy enemy. And that's what's wrong with you Israelites. You won't trust the Lord, but you'll trust your enemy though. And the Lord said, lean not into thy own understanding. Trust in him with all your heart, all your mind. And lean not into thy own understanding. But you say, not once, Lord. I, I, not this time, only this time, Lord. This time, and this time, that time will lead you to looking like old girl. You see it, man. You see the headlines. You can read it. I'm just leaving it. I'm not even going to read it. You read it, man. All right? Sirach chapter 12. And you see what happens when you trust your enemy. You end up getting laid down. Down, man. Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wicked. And this devil don't care. 
how how it leads you and the condition and the state it leaves you. And your family got the mourn. That man don't care about that. The scriptures go to that. He, he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will destroy you. Matter of fact, let's just jump down. Let's just jump down. I want to jump down. Let's get this. Sirach chapter 12, verse 13. Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, man? You go out there and you go to playing around with snakes. If you get bit by that snake and that venom start going inside of you and it start doing something to you, who's supposed to feel bad for you? Who? You played around with a certain, and, and that's what's wrong with our people. They don't, they don't tell, like these church pastors, these leaders, they know that this man, this sleazy, this Edomite is our enemy. But then, that shit, you church pastors, all you church pastors, hell, you, you Israelite groups, you damn Israelite group leaders, you're going to be held accountable too, because you told them, I'm saying, your congregation to drink that damn Kool Aid too. And some of them end up being deleted, man. But it's all lovey dovey. Now, now you, you're the king of the damn hill. This shit is crazy. Told they congregation to drink that damn Capri Sun, man. That damn Kool Aid. Oh, yeah. All this madness, man. Who would pity a charmer just, just to keep your job? So, so, uh, so, so you, you don't want to keep your job? If, if you quit your job, don't come to us asking for no money, but you worth $150 million, but your congregation can't come to you and ask to get for their light bill to get paid, for their rent to get paid, you know what I'm saying, till they find a job. Kind of damn leader are you? Kind of, but that's your leader, though, right? Come on, Israel. You get by a, bit by a serpent, you're playing around with a snake, you get bit, who's supposed to feel bad for you? Or such as come nigh wild beasts. Bear, bear with me. Never trust dying enemy. But the men out there on the highway, them by is giving you one. Don't you get them off the streets. Oh, okay. The Lord's going to grant you Israelites your wish. You're going you gonna to know that a prophet had been among you. You're going to know that a prophet had been among you. Once again, Sirach chapter 12, verse 13. Who a pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast. You in a safari without a guide and those vicious creatures, those vicious beasts start mauling you to deletion. Who's going to feel bad for you? Let's jump down. Sirach chapter 12. Verse 16, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, in his mind, he imagined, he speak. I, I got something that's good for you. It's going to make you feel good all over, like Stephanie Mills. I feel good all over. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. You want this job? Only thing you got to do is do this, that, and the third, and you know what I mean. Only thing you got to do is drink this cup of Kool-Aid and you can have this job. You can get this promotion. You can get on the plane. You can get on the train. You can get. You can come into this restaurant. All that madness that that devil was saying in order for you to go from one ball. Yeah, and you can get into the gym. An enemy speaking sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, in his mind, he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. This is, this is what happens when you drink that damn Kool-Aid, all right? Three damn cups, three cups of Kool-Aid. And once again, it's a whole lot of people that drunk that Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? Many, many cups. And they, they looking worse than this, but that, that picture ain't going to come out. They, they too ashamed to show that picture. This is what happens, man, when you don't trust in the Lord. Never trust thy enemy. This is a quick little lesson, Israel. You have been warned. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. So that man, this devil ain't going to be satisfied till you, till you see you deleted. If adversity come upon thee, something like this start happening to you. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Adding like he care, right? And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. He's always going to pretend to help you, Israel. He's going to always undermine you. And I want to go here. Let's go to the 14th chapter. Let's just go here. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 14. Let's get this. Let's get this. 
Sirach chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself. This devil don't even like himself, man. Bear, bear with me. Sirach chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself. To whom will he be good? This man don't even like his own self. This devil don't. And the word this devil means deceiver. And you Israelites are going to learn. You ain't got to take heat. Go ahead and mock. Go ahead and scoff. Do whatever you got to do. Tell him but I needed a job, brother. I need, I was trying to go to school and get my education, brother. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Do whatever you want to do. You ain't got to listen to the Lord. Do whatever you do, whatever you've been doing, because you ain't trying to listen to the Lord anyway. You ain't trying to listen to the message. But like the scriptures say, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you. Right. But I wanted to get a burger from Mickey D's. And it said the only way I can get inside the restaurant is if I drink that cup of Kool-Aid. Why are you mad at me? Sirach chapter 14, verse 5. I wanted to get my arms bigger and my legs bigger. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get a bigger chest, and the only way that I can get into the gym is if I drink that damn Kool-Aid. Why are you mad? Sirach chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil. I wanted to go to Costa Rica. You know I wanted to go to Colombia. I wanted to get some buns. I wanted to get some buns. Sirach chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. This man don't even like his own self. This man is evil to his own self, to his own people. How much more, you know what I'm saying, his, his nemesis. You know what I'm saying? The Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And I can keep speaking on this, but I'm not even going to make it long because you already know how this devil is. Never trust thine enemy. I I, I love many scriptures that I can bring out. But you see what happens when you trust your enemy, right? You there looking crazy and looking stupid while he run, he runs out there. Well, he ain't running, he walks out the damn back door. You know what I'm saying? With a damn trench coat on. Like, yeah, I got another one and another one. Never trust thine enemy. Shalom.